Rub up your engines! Now, there's a lot of really bad drivers out there today, so I'm gonna show you how you can protect yourself in case of an accident by using a simple dash cam. This one is a Vantru Nexus 4 Pro. It's not cheap, but it really works well. If I want something, it's gonna save me. I don't want something that, oh gee, it didn't work, it broke. These are high quality units. You can buy cheaper ones if you want. You can try whatever you want. I just know this particular one works quite well, so that's what I'm sticking to. Now, I've only got one warning about this dash cam, and that's this. If you are one of the horrible drivers, you really don't wanna install it on your car. It'll prove that you're the one who caused the accident. But for us good drivers, these things can be a godsend because if you've ever been in an accident and you knew it was somebody else's fault many times they will lie they'll tell the police oh he ran into me oh he ran a red light yada 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 i met a customer in houston she was driving her toyota pickup truck the light turned green for her she started going in and then she got smashed into by a pickup truck the guy in the pickup truck quick ran over to the bus stop where there were two people sitting and he gave them each 20 bucks and they told the police that she ran the red light and they wrote it against her insurance company. But these eyewitnesses are better because you got it on your car, it would have shown that her light turned green. She went through it and got hit. She wouldn't have got a mark on her license for running a red light. Her insurance company wouldn't raise her rates because this would have proved that it wasn't her fault. Now it wasn't always the case, but even in California now, these are legal. For car accidents, you have to put it where they don't block your view. They're only allowed to record 30 seconds before the accident and 30 seconds after, which all these things are set up for anyways. But even in California, these things are legal because they show what actually happened. Now they're super easy to install. They just stick on a windshield. As long as it's not blocking your view, that's totally fine. Then once you start the car, it automatically turns itself on. You can see the green light is on. And there you go, you see it's recording. Now if you don't want to leave in the car, it just snaps off its holder. As you can see, little connectors for power are there. The rust can stay up, but if you really want security, you're gonna leave it there all the time. Because this baby also has a crash recorder. If somebody hits your car, it'll record it. If somebody tries to pick it up and tow it, it'll record what's going on. You can leave it in there all the time. It even comes with these stickers protected by Vantru dash cam. In German too, I guess if you're in a German speaking area, Achtung! <laughs> Now this particular kit is a fancy one. If you want, you can also hook up a back camera. You can stick on your back window. Comes with giant long wires for that. And it comes with a cigarette charger and the wire that's really long. So if you want, you can put the wire so it's less obtrusive. I just have it hanging there. But you can run it around the border with this long one so you don't see the wire anymore. Even it comes with a handy little tool so you can hide the wiring underneath the plastic. Now you can see it's a lot neater. It's just got the little wire here going up. That's it. The rest is all hidden inside. Now this is an expensive fancy one, but it leaves nothing to be done by yourself. You start the car, it starts recording. It's an endless loop. It just keeps recording over. And then when there's an accident, it frees it. Or let's say you're driving down the road and you see a big wreck. Well, then you can push the side button and it will memorize that and it won't let you record over it unless you get rid of it by going through all the directions and erasing the recorded ones you might start yourself a youtube channel of car crashes who knows now if you want you can put the back camera too to cover all things in case you get rear-ended or something by somebody comes with a long enough wire of course it's a real pain in the butt going to the back of the car and running this wiring through the bodywork of the car to the front so i'm not going to do that i'm going to be happy with the front and it does have a backwards pointed camera too so you get somewhat an idea that's built into the unit so if you're worried about those lunatic drivers out there and it's bad enough that they drive like lunatics a lot of them are bald faced liars they'll lie cheat and steal do anything to not blame it on themselves the camera doesn't lie and like i said even in california it's legal evidence i've had many customers getting wrecks one guy backed into them and then they said oh you rear-ended me well how could you prove whether you rear-ended them or they backed into you. 
Well, you got the camera. It'll also keep people from trying to pull scams like jumping on your car, pretending you hit them, backing up into your car, hitting you on the highway and blaming you cause. They see that camera and they're in front of you. They're not going to pull a fast one on you. They're going to try it on somebody else. These little cameras are worth their weight in gold. I'm leaving mine on. Who knows? Maybe I'll get some good shots that I can put on my YouTube channel. And of course, it's got the side benefit of keeps your car from being stolen. If these people know they're being watched by one of these cameras, they're gonna think twice about stealing it. You can even use the wireless aspect of this if you want. Say you do get in a wreck and you're upside down. You don't have to reach and grab it and push it. You just have to go save that and it'll save it. And as a bonus, it's also got infrared light detection for night. Let's say you're driving around and you can't see. You can, if you want, use that as your guide or you can unhook it like I showed. If you don't want to leave it in your car, you can unhook it and take it away with you. But you can unhook it and you can stick it out the window of your car and you can look around. Maybe you're out in the country, you can't find where there's a driveway or you can't read somebody's address. Hey, get it out and you can use it for that. It's an infrared camera too. But I mainly love them because, hey, they save you from liars. They show the truth of what happened. Nobody's going to argue with what the camera shows. They see some guy runs a red light, hits you, you know what's happening. Or maybe you're in a three-way wreck where you're just sitting in the middle. Guy hits somebody and then somebody hits you and pushes them into somebody. It'll show the whole thing so you won't be blamed for it. But like I said, if you're a horrible driver, you probably don't want one of these because it would point the blame at you if something bad happens. Now, you know, I'm always trying things out. I got a new dongle to analyze what's wrong with your car. It's a little thin car dongle and it seems to do quite a lot for the price. As you can see here, it's a thin car BD6. It's around 80 bucks or so. Plugs into the OBD port. Very simple installation. There it goes. You can see it's green, it's on. Push the button to put the car into accessory mode. You don't want to start it. You just have the idiot lights on. Then you use your cell phone. Hey. Why buy a complete machine when all you need is a software? This has already got a bunch of stuff in it, the hardware and everything. It's actually got software too. You just download the software free once you buy the dongle and then it activates it. There's the Think Diag. There it goes. In case we're doing all system diagnostic. There it is, read the VIN. Knows it's a 2022 Tacoma with the 2GRFKS engine. Now we are using an Android smartphone. This is not going to be as fast as my fancy scan tool. Okay, I got a fancy scan tool, it costs five grand. It's instantaneous, quick, 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 and it's phenomenal. But it costs five grand. This thing is like 80 bucks, and it does quite a bit for 80 bucks. As you can see, it's scanning the whole vehicle. And look at the stuff it's going through ECM, radar control, transmission control, ABS anti lock braking system, pre collision system airbag system, four-wheel drive system, this is a four-wheel drive Tacoma, tire pressure monitoring system, combination meter, body control module. Look at the stuff this thing could do. Doesn't have a sliding roof and it knows it. See, there's no sliding roof. Master switch, power steering source, because it's electric power steering, navigation system, telematics. Didn't find anything wrong, because of course it's a Toyota, and it doesn't have that many miles, and I take care of it. Okay, now let's say we want to look at data. We'll look at all systems. Okay, here's the engine control module. And we'll see what kind of information it has. You can read codes, you can clear the fault, you can read the data stream. It takes a little bit of time to read this stuff, but we'll select them all, and let's see how many there are. There's probably quite a few. As you can see, we're still in the A's. Just whip through them. Look at them all. Look at them all. Whee! I counted them all. There's 324. That's a lot of data. This is a serious scan tool. We'll start her up to get live data. Not only can you see the data, but we can do a graph combination look. And it does the graph combination of the three. This is a pretty serious machine for 80 bucks. It does stuff that my $5,000 machine does. Of course it doesn't do them all. <laughs> and it refreshes slower because it's using a cell phone. Doesn't have nearly the capacity that my $5,000 scan tool does. It has a slower chip. It has less memory. But it still works. It's not just that. Check it out. It does maintenance functions. Reset your oil. Mobilizer. Bleed your brakes. Check it out. It even does recall record for your vehicle to see if there's things that are recalled that you don't know about. It also does a complete history of the cars you've scanned. I've scanned two cars so far and it keeps all the information. Let's say you had a problem, you fixed it, it's got the old information, then it'll have the new information, you can see whether it's actually fixed or not. Pretty cool for 80 something bucks, I gotta say. And look at all the cars it covers. 
Acura, Audi, Austin, B. Look, here's all the cars. You can read them as they go on. Dodge, GM, Brazil, Honda, Hyundai, Infinity, Jeep, Kia, Korean, Kia. It's a worldwide thing. Mercedes Benz, Mini, Nissan, Peugeot, Toyota, China, Toyota, US, Volkswagen. Look at that. That's a lot of cars. When you consider mechanics charge 150 to 250 bucks an hour, you might think about getting one. It could save you a small fortune in the long run. Buy whole scantle when you can buy just the dongle and put the software on your phone. Because as time goes on, these things are getting cheaper and cheaper and do more and more. It's just taking the information in the car, putting it into your phone, and the software on the phone is analyzing the stuff. Now, these guys claim it's got a lifetime free updates. Uh, maybe maybe not who knows over time companies say they do and then they don't but for what it does as it stands seems like a real good deal to me i haven't had any problems with it yet if i do i'll tell people hey this thing broke down on me what a pile of junk it hasn't broken yet i just got it hey it's a worthwhile thing to give it a try a lot of information even shows you the recalls on your car for this small amount of money, hey, what do you got to lose? So now you know how to save yourself from liability using a dash cam and possibly saving yourself a small fortune in auto repairs using your own little scan tool on a smartphone. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.